Hello, Brother Billy. Hello, Brother Anthony. <laughs> you know, this weather now is kind of strange. In the morning, it'd be cool. Then it'd be blistering hot at the midday off. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to wear. <laughs> look, I'm, oh, look, I'm wearing my McCree t-shirt. McCree is a, is a rock band in South Africa, out of Cape Town. Mm -hmm. The front man is uh, Mark McCree. He used to have a band called Kevin Decline. They had a minor hit and stuff like that. But now I think they're scientists only. Oh, they're, they're scientists. They're, they're a good band. Th think of, um, think of, I don't know, Bruce Springsteen when he first started or something like that, you know? But the reason I bring, I, I bring this up for a reason, of course. Uh, because I used to be, when I say I'm the arts, I used to be the arts director emeritus for WBAI Radio, because that means I used to be the arts director of WBAI Radio. Now, that might be known to a lot of people. That, what does that mean? Well, it means I ran, I had three departments in one. You know, uh, the drama and literature department, the critics, you know, like the dance critics, the film critics, you know, the art critics, all them people like that. And also, the music department. Now, what people don't realize when you read a resume, uh, it doesn't tell everything. You just have to fill in the blanks for you. Now, as a music director or arts director, I mean, uh, especially for the largest community radio station in America, <laughs> if you will, mm. uh, that means I was exposed to, or well, I had to coordinate all these DJs with different musical genres. I mean, we're, we're talking like opera, you know, folk, you know, bluegrass, uh, or soul, um, jazz, you know, going down the line, you know, hip hop, you know, all that stuff. You know, in fact, I put the first hip hop uh, program on the, on the radio for for that. Um, um, still going today, uh, Jay Smooth Underground Railroad. But that's not the point. Um, dance music, all, all kinds of things. So my musical knowledge. You know, just passing, it's like, well, exposure is just amazing. Then when I dealt with Pan, Af Pan African Space Station, that's all the African music and all, all kinds of stuff, you know, you know New Age, all, all kinds of music, you know, that I, that I know. Um, but it's interesting because I'm thinking my time with WBAI, I believe that was, if it was a university, which I guess it is to me, it's the best university on the planet. Better than, you know, you name it Oxford, Harvard, I don't care what you have, some university in China. The best university on the planet is WBAI Radio in New York. I was there from 1982 and I left the job in, uh, until 1996. That's a long time to be at university. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason why I say that is because, I mean, we have people like, like you know, Michelle Kako, nuclear physicist, he has, you know, he, he, has, he had a program. He still has a program at WBA. All, all kinds of people. But the interesting thing at that station is you had these little cadres. You know. Now, how I came to the station as a telephone volunteer, helping the great Bernard White do a program called Emanations, and it was like a well, it's a, a, a political, it's a public affairs program, but it's a free form thing, and we would uh, we would deal with stuff that. People wouldn't necessarily deal with, like for instance, when when a uh, Wilson Good uh, bombed, move, you know, the, the the black mayor of Philadelphia bombed the house, bombed literally bombed from the air a house. This is like in the, this is like in the eighties. This my Amelia Abul Jamal was reported in. We had him on it before he got you know in jail and the whole cop thing. You know, he was a reporter, a very progressive reporter. You know, we had him on the air. You know, we covered that story, and then then when people pick it up, we just move on to the next story. That was our modus operandi, so to speak. Yeah. You know? But I'm going to long thing just to say that these little countries. What I when my what I did was when I came to the station, I basically uh, just learned everything about the station, and I, and I I uh, I, I basically got into all these little cadres, made friends, the engineering people, all the little, everybody. So then when I became arts director, you know, everybody knew who I was, they respected my work because, you know, I was pretty, basically good at what I did. So I could do these big audio dramas and draw the whole station, all kinds of people in the station, do these huge audio dramas we used to do. But I've been thinking recently, you know, not, not by my behavior, I was thinking, I mean, how can I put it? The fabric of God. Let me put it that way, the fabric of God. A lot of people say, oh, well, you know, you have God in you, whatever. But to me, when I look at the way the universe really works, if you look at it like a, some sort of grid, 
You know, and they show those three-dimensional things where you have the, the wavery thing, the grid. To me, God is the, is the lines of the grid that holds everything together. And that you might be in any particular space on the grid. But what happens is, because you're a space on the grid, you actually have a relationship with other spaces through this connective tissue or this connected, disconnected lines or whatever, however you want to put it. That is God. Know, like that, so you're connected. Now you can choose to stay in your space, but you have a relationship with some space all the way over there. So you can actually be related to that space, or you can stay in your little space. The trick is, in your little space, you're not saying your space is more important than some other space. And so when I think of this fabric, when something happens bad in another space, it has to affect you. It's almost like you have to respond to because eventually that, that badness will affect other spaces. Mm. It, it, so, so that's, that's what, I'm, that's what I've, I've been thinking about. Because all of the stuff that's happening in the world, you know, we want to fix this problem or that problem, but it's all connected. We have to fix the problem of the fact, or if I have the understanding of, of what holds everything together. So it's a, it's a, it's a wonder to me. But um, I'm still thinking on this and now trying to come up with some sort of, I'm just articulating now. Sometimes it's in my head, but I can't get it out right because, you know, how I say words fail you. That's why we like music and we like dance. Because you see music and dance and art, you can say, ah, you know, then you can press it, you know, you can, you can get it that way. Also, one more thing, you know, my garden, also I guess I got this called my garden because I realized my garden is all connected. You know, and, and I think that realistically, all gardens, all trees all over the world, they're connected. They actually talk to each other better than we talk to each other. And I think that with all these catastrophes and climate, whatever have you, the earth is talking, saying, okay, we see what's going on. This happens. Uh, and, and I'm going off on some other tangent. I, let me just stop here, because this has been one of those dispatches from the arts director of America. So that would be me, T, from the Patterson taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm.